Hello, mighty companion. This is Earl Raj Purdy, and I am going to do Course in Miracles lesson number 140. Only salvation can be said to cure. Only right mindedness, which is what salvation means, can be said to cure. Only salvation can be said to cure. Only right mindedness can be said to cure. I'm going to read this to you, and I'm going to go through it with energy and aliveness so that you can hear it. Here we go. Cure is a word that cannot be applied to any remedy the world accepts as beneficial. What the world perceives as therapeutic is but what will make the body better. When the world tries to heal the mind, the world sees no separation from the body where the world thinks the mind exists. Its forms of healing thus must substitute illusion for illusion. Its forms of healing thus must substitute false ideas for false ideas. One belief in sickness just takes another form, and so the patient now perceives himself as well. The person is not healed. The person merely had a dream in which they were sick, and in the dream the person found a magic formula to make themselves well. Yet the truth is, the person hasn't really awakened from the dream, and so the person's mind remains exactly as the person's mind was before. The person has not seen the light, the truth, that would awaken them and end the dream. What difference does the content of a dream make in reality anyway? You either sleep or you either are awake. There's nothing in between. The happy dreams the Holy Spirit brings are different from the dreaming of the world, where one can merely dream that they are awake. The dream's forgiveness and correct perceptions let your mind perceive do not induce another form of sleep so that you, the dreamer, dreams another dream. Your happy dreams are heralds of the dawn of truth upon your mind. Happy dreams, happy dreams, lead from sleep to gentle waking so that dreams are gone, and thus happy dreams cure for all eternity. Atonement, the acceptance of the truth, heals with certainty and cures all sickness which is not right-mindedness. For the man which understands that sickness which is not right-mindedness can be nothing but a dream is a man that's not deceived by forms the dream or illusion may take. Sickness which is not right-mindedness, where guilt is absent, cannot come because it is but another form of guilt. Atonement, the acceptance of the truth, the truth doesn't heal the sick, for that is not a cure. Atonement takes away the guilt, the guilt that makes sickness and not right mindedness possible, and that is cure indeed, for sickness now is gone with nothing left which it can return. With nothing left to which it can return, sickness now is gone. Peace be to you who have been cured in God, and not in idle dreams. For a cure must come from innocence, and innocence cannot be found where sin is cherished. Innocence is holiness. God abides only in holy temples, innocent temples. The Creator is barred where the belief in sin and guilt has entered. Yet there is no place where the Creator isn't. And therefore sin and guilt can have no home in which to hide from the Creator's beneficence. There is no place where innocence and holiness is not, and nowhere sin and sickness can abide. This is the thought that cures. This is the thought that cures, the thought of innocence. This thought doesn't make distinctions among unrealities, nor does it seek to heal what's not sick, unmindful where the need for healing is. This is no magic. This is merely an appeal to truth. Truth cannot fail to heal, and heal forever. It is not a thought that judges an illusion by its size, its seeming gravity, or anything that is related to the form the illusion takes. The truth merely focuses on what is and knows that no illusion can be real, no false idea of fear can ultimately be real. Let's not try today to seek to cure what cannot suffer sickness. Healing must be brought where healing is, and then applied, healing must be sought but where healing is, and then applied to what is sick and not right-minded so that it can be cured. There is no remedy the world provides that can affect a change in anything. The mind that brings illusions and false ideas to the truth, now that's a mind that's really changed. There is no change but bringing your mind to the truth. For how can one illusion and false idea differ from another illusion and false idea but in attributes that have no substance, no reality, no core, and nothing that's truly different? Today we seek to change our minds, change our minds about the source of sickness, for we seek a cure for all illusions, all false ideas, not another shift among them. We will try today to find the source of healing, which is in our minds, because our Creator placed it there for us. It is not further from us than ourselves. Healing is as near to us as our own thoughts, so close it's impossible to lose. We need but seek healing in the mind where healing must be found. We will, not be mis we will not be misled today by what appears to us to be sick or not right-minded. We go beyond appearances today. That means we reach the source of healing from which nothing is exempt. 
we will succeed to the extent to which we realize that there can never be a meaningful distinction made between what's untrue and equally untrue. Here there are no degrees and no beliefs that what doesn't exist is truer in some forms than others. All of the forms of what doesn't exist are false and can be cured because all of the illusions of sickness and upset in the world are not true. So do we lay aside our ambulance, our charms, and our medicines? We're going to lay aside our ambulance, our charms, and our medicines, our chants, and bits of magic, and whatever form our bits of magic take. We will be still and listen for the voice of healing, which will cure all ills as one, restoring saneness to you, the child of God. No voice but God's voice can cure. Today we hear a single voice, a single voice which a single voice which speaks to us of truth, the truth where all illusions end and peace returns to the eternal, quiet home of God. We wake in hearing God, and we let God speak to us. We let God speak to us five minutes as the day begins, and we end the day by listening again five minutes more before we go to sleep. Our only preparation is to let our interfering thoughts be laid aside, and not separately, but all of our interfering thoughts as one. All of our interfering thoughts are the same. We have no need to make our interfering thoughts different and thus delay the time when we can hear our Father speak to us. We hear our Creator now. We hear our Father now. We come to our Creator God today with nothing in our hands to which we clean, with lifted hearts and listening minds, we pray. Only salvation, which is right-mindedness, can be said to cure. Speak to us, Father, that we may be healed. Only salvation can be said to cure. Speak to us, Father, that we may be healed. And we will feel salvation, which is right-mindedness, which is forgiveness, cover us with soft protection and with peace so deep that no illusion can disturb our minds nor offer proof to us that it's real. This will we learn today and we will say our prayer for healing hourly and take a minute as the hour strikes to hear the answer to our prayer be given us as we attend in silence and in joy. This is the day when healing comes to us. This is the day, this is the day when separation ends and we remember who we really, really are. So today's lesson is only salvation, which is right-mindedness, can be said to cure. Speak to us, Father. Speak to us, Creator, that we may be healed. So here we go. Only salvation can be said to cure. 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 Speak to us, Father. Speak to us, God. 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 That we may be healed. Speak to us, Father. That we may be healed. Speak to us, Father. That we may be healed. Speak to us, Creator. That we may be healed. Speak to us, Creator. That we may be healed. Speak to us, Creator. That we may be healed. Speak to us, Creator that we may be healed. Speak to us, Father, that we may be healed. Speak to us, Father, that we may be healed. Speak to us, Father, that we may be healed. That we may be healed. That we may be healed. Only salvation can be said to cure. Only salvation can be said to cure. Only forgiveness can be said to cure. Only forgiveness can be said to cure. Only, 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 only. Only salvation can be said to cure. 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 Only the truth 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 can be said to cure. Only salvation 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 can be said to cure. Mighty companion, this is Earl Rise Purdy. And I want you to use this lesson today. Check me out at www.earlpurdy.com. I have plenty of classes online for you to listen to. And I want you to let peace, let peace, 
and joy and love extend from my mind to yours.